I can manipulate anyone to do exactly what I want. Look at the powers that I possess. Look what I can make people do. Lift, Gio, lift! <laughs> Welcome to episode 22 of Diaries of the Drunken Dumbbells with Di and my sidekick, Gio. And today's episode is on manipulation. So to elaborate, today's episode is on manipulation and how I'm a manipulator. And you can be one too. You may be unaware of this, but the word manipulation has no negative connotations in the first two definitions of the Webster Dictionary. These are taken verbatim. To treat or operate manually or mechanically, mechanically, especially with skill, to manage or use skillfully. <laughs> okay, let me get a crack at this. To treat or operate manually or mechanically, especially with skill, or to manage or use skillfully. And in some synonyms, and thesaurus.com is shape, manage, deploy, and I look at the paper. Mold. Mold. Great examples, Gio. So if I were to hand you a piece of clay and I were to say, here, manipulate this piece of clay into a human body, you would manipulate that clay into the best rendition possible without even thinking twice about the verb that I used. Right? Right, exactly. It's the same situation with your body and mind. Yeah. So if you think of it in a positive way, manipul manipulating yourself into any beautiful shape you desire without... So what's the difference between inspiration and manipulation? Well, manipulation is kind of, think of it as a sales pitch, whereas inspiration, it's more of a process. Manipulation doesn't always have to be about getting something for yourself. The way we like to think about it is strategically getting others to do what's good for them. How do we know what they want, Di? Well, really, the only way to be an effective manipulator is to be an effective listener. And by listening to others, they'll essentially tell us what they want, and it's our job to pitch them on the necessary actions that they need to take to get there. Unfortunately, fear and uncertainty will overwhelm their... Fear and what? Uncertainty. What? Uncertainty will overwhelm their decisions. <laughs> but seriously, it, it will overwhelm their... Uh, decision-making processes, fear and uncertainty. <laughs> so, wow, this is awesome, Gio. Okay, yeah, so you definitely. want to start eating healthy, so I think what you need to start doing... <laughs> I'm scared and overwhelmed. <laughs> so you see, it is people's intentions to want to be better, to want to do good for themselves. But because they're overwhelmed, like Gio said, with that fear and uncertainty, that's where we come in. Ye manipulator, Decimus Meridius Maximus! So despite what you thought or felt about manipulation, you can clearly see that it can be used in a positive and productive light if it's used to benefit others. So how do I actually manipulate someone? Well, the first thing you need to do, like we said before, is start by listening to what it is that they want. The second thing is to ask open-ended questions. So an open-ended question is something that they would have to think about as opposed to just being able to answer with a simple yes or no. So what is it about exercise that is attractive to you? Hmm. And number three is to suggest actionable steps that they can take that could move them closer to what it is that they want. Hey, and don't only try these techniques on others, but actually... On yourself? Uh, yeah. One, two, three. Thinking about manipulation in this way will provide a really positive energy shift and if you're having any doubts about that, then I encourage you to look at all of the ways that you're already manipulating yourself in everyday life that don't really serve a purpose for you and aren't bringing you closer to what it is that you want. Thanks again, everyone, for allowing us to manipulate you into watching this episode of Diaries of the Drunken Dumbbells with Di and my sidekick, Gio. We will manipulate you to follow us on social media. And be sure to like and share.